go. Hello friends, good morning. It's a beautiful weather today and uh, it's a harvesting time. Um, this is the moment, it's like a proud moment. You know, you have done all your hard work in the garden and it's time to, you know, pick some fresh vegetables from your garden and make something fresh. Um, today I'm um, harvesting some tuber as you can see. Um, the key is to pick the the crop at the right moment like as you can see they are full of seeds you know so you want to pick them like when they are like nice and full so that when you when you shell them you can actually see the quantity otherwise like if you um, harvest like you know like a tiny ones then they won't give you like much quantity and all that so uh, it's very important to pick the crop at the right time um, I still have almost probably half an hour to go to pick all um, the pigeon peas um, but before that I thought that uh, uh, let's take a short garden tour I have actually really uh, less battery in my phone so let me show you quickly Look at the color, it's totally different color than I expected. Um, that one is yellow, I knew that. And, uh, so it feels so beautiful like as soon as I get into the garden. And it's going to be really hot today, so I thought uh, I need to get into the garden before it gets hot. So, let me take you to a couple of uh, more places. Um, Lemon is doing good, like they're not still that big, but as you can see, like they're doing at least a little bit better. Um, here I have the uh, wild beans. So these are all the plants that I'm showing today. Um, if you remember and if you have been watching my gardening videos, we did like uh, uh, some of them a month ago, some of them just like uh, two weeks ago. So you can see like how um, good they are doing and now I still have to pick one more thing from here uh, that's a ridge gourd, Tuya known as and this one is ready to harvest so I'm going to oops I think I need something better to pick this Alright, got it. Okay, so as you can see. And then I also got some chilies already. So let me show you. I've been waiting for chilies. That's the most I have been waiting for. I think we should have just done it right from here to there instead of walking. But I think you can take a good walk with me, I guess. So let me show you, not much, I don't see much, but uh, if you come closer, you can see. Okay, here is the one that's big one, right? So I'm just going to pick that. These are the very hot chilies, actually. So for every meal, I probably need just one or two. Um, but as you can see, like they are doing um, good. And shortly, I will have probably uh, tons of uh, green chilies. And then uh, this area is just as usual, like everything is growing well. That's the eggplant and it's about to give, it's about to get started like for flowering. As you can see this one right here. And so hopefully uh, these are all chilies again. Uh, peppers in that corner. That's lemongrass. So, and that's again eggplant. Um, it's also time for me to transplant so many plants um, like the one that we remember if you remember um, if you watch my video like um, gardening from the uh, kitchen scraps like you know leftover vegetables or like the vegetables that are not edible anymore you just take the seeds out of them and then just throw in your garden and you still get tons of plants that's the avocado there um, avocado is doing really good um, all kinds of meat 
that's one variety there is another peppermint variety and then in here i got the rosemary and dill look at those tomatoes that we grew from the the tomato that i got the seeds from the the market um you know like usually when when you cook uh, i don't want to use all the seeds from tomatoes so you can uh, scoop out some seeds from the very nice ripe tomato and the variety that you want to uh, use so that's where i grew all these tomatoes these are like three varieties in one container uh, roma tomato uh, um, a cherry tomato and then uh, a wine tomato yes and uh, this one uh, right here is basil one of the variety that i just uh, threw a couple of days ago and look at how they have sprouted really nice that's a purple uh, mint uh, variety that comes uh, in and look at those bases that we planted um, a month ago actually they are doing really well and again this is from the vegetable scrap remember if you remember like the spring onion that i just took the one inch of uh, you know like a spring onion from um from from when i was you know leftover. preparing the recipe just left over just take out that one inch of uh, roots and then just um you know poke into the soil and you get all this nice uh looking green looking i actually used some of them yesterday so as you can see that's the lettuce um, more mint here i need lots of mint and holy basil and all those herbs in my morning masala chai and that's a lemongrass again when i can't go out in the garden if it's raining or anything i always keep a few in my porch as well so i don't have to go out to get them now it's all trash here and shortly i'm going to show you one more video how to get free containers so as you can see i have all mess up here but i'm going to show you like where to get all this free stuff and then you can have lots of pots in your garden for free so here I have the lettuce that we planted. If you remember, look at that, how big it has grown now. So we just used the root of that uh, lettuce, the Roma lettuce, Romano lettuce. And then now look at that. It's doing really well. The outside is all again like uh, the eggplants, a lot of eggplants, man. I'm just getting tired now just transplanting them. Um, over here remember uh, those uh, peppers that we threw the pe seeds from the leftover uh, peppers and they're doing well they need to be transplanted soon i mean it's already time for me to transplant them um again this as you can see sun is already up there now so shortly it will get really hot it's going to be 92 degrees fahrenheit today in florida here uh, look at all my basil, holy basil, uh, tulsi basically. So I transplanted them because I didn't want to miss them and uh, you know like be great later. So I at least took some time out especially for that one. Um, but as you can see tomatoes, peppers, they all need to be transplanted now. Um, and uh, so yeah, that's... Uh, about it and there's another garden my neighbor's garden she always tells me like yeah, i can go there and and you know shoot something but um she's doing really great job over there as well um so stay tuned for all the gardening videos especially how to get the free containers i'll let you know and how how to like uh you know decorate them you can you don't have to decorate if you're just using for like uh, um you know like seedling or stuff like that um so i'm going to show you that video shortly maybe like tomorrow i guess uh but uh, yeah that was about it and i still have to pick a lot of tour siege and peace so i'm going there i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you can hear the birds chirping Golf cart. and uh, uh look at that the sun oh my god it's already killing actually um, so hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like and comment below and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. It's going to be very exciting. All new episodes. You will absolutely love them. So stay tuned for all those gardening videos, cooking videos and much more. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Finares, Bonas Kitchen is almost everywhere. By the way, today I just woke up and got straight into the garden so you can see me like, um, you know, um, so hopefully uh, you didn't mind, uh, <laughs> but uh, I knew that it's going to be hot, so I wanted to be in the garden as soon as I wake up.
So yeah, um, you can also visit my website bonuskitchen.com for new recipe tips, tricks, and ideas in the kitchen. Uh, you can watch me on a big TV screen using Roku, Amazon Fire, um, YouTube app itself. If you have a smart TV, thanks for watching and see you soon.